Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Travel Discoveries. I'm back again. Today's topic is we will discuss about the National Visa Center Immigrant Visa Backlog Reports, in BC time frames updates, and public inquiries response time. All of this we will discuss after a short shout out. Shout out to our new subscriber, Terry. Nora Torres, Annika Madu Family, Roma Folo, Rimonda Eliasar, Sophie Caboguera, and Ria Santoa. Thank you so much for watching and commenting to my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you will stick around until at the end of this video so that you will know what is the new information, updates, and tips on the NBC time frames and also for the NBC immigrant visa updates. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. So let us further do, let's start. National Visa Center Immigrant Visa Backlog Reports last updated august 2022 so this guys is comes from the website of the national visa center so since march 2022 the covid 19 pandemic has dramatically affected all department of states ability to process immigrant visa applications u.s embassies and consulates are working to resume routine visa services on a location by location basis as expeditiously as possible in a safe manner. However, the pandemic continues to severely impact the number of visas. Embassies and consulates abroad are able to process. The particular constraints vary based on local conditions and restrictions, but include local and national lockdowns travel restrictions, host country quarantine regulations, and measures taken by our embassies and consulates to contain the spread of COVID-19. On February 2, 2021, President Biden issued Executive Order EO-14012 on restoring faith on our legal immigration systems. Though we continue to face real and persistent challenges in the age of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are committed to resolving the immigrant visa backlog and transparently sharing the current status of our worldwide visa operations. While remaining dedicated to the safety of our staff, and applicants and the national security of the United States. Number of immigrant visa applicants whose cases are documentarily complete at National Visa Center and ready for interview as of July 31 is 421,688. Number of documentarily complete immigrant visa applicants scheduled for August 2022 Interview appointments is 32,888. And number of eligible immigrant visa applicants still pending the scheduling of an interview after August 2022 appointment scheduling was completed is 388,780. So guys, this is the report of the national visa center about the immigrant visa backlogs note calendar year 2019 on average 60,866 applicants were pending the scheduling of an interview each month this data is snapshot in time provided informational purposes in order to be as transparent as possible Given that these numbers change on a regular basis through our ongoing effort to reduce the backlog, they will be updated soon after they are published each month. In addition, this data is specific to cases that have been processed by NBC and determined to be documentarily complete. It does not reflect 
immigrant visa cases that have already been transferred to an embassy or consulate for interview. Cases that are still with USCIS for petition approval or cases that are not considered documentarily complete. For more information about when an application is considered documentarily complete, please see https slash travel dot state dot group slash content slash travel slash en slash us dash visas slash immigrate slash da dash immigrate dash visa dash process slash step dash eight Thus, can dash collected dash documents slash step dash nine dash upload dash and dash submit dash scan dash documents dot html. So, guys, if you wanted to know about those application considered as documentarily complete, all you need to do is to visit this website. Don't worry, guys, I will put the link down below my description box so that easy for you to click and you will redirect that in that website for a step-by-step -step breakdown of the immigrant visa process please see https dot slash travel dot state dot group slash content slash travel slash en slash us dash visas slash immigrate slash da dash immigrant dash visa dash process slash step dash one dash submit dash a dash petition dot html so guys if you wanted to check the step by step breakdown of the immigrant visa process all you need to do is to visit this link reminder applicants should be as prepared as possible for their interview by bringing all required documents with them being fully prepared will not only speed up the interview but also help the department more efficiently reduce the number of those waiting for an interview appointment. So guys, if you think that this video is so very informative and give an information or idea to you, please consider to subscribe and Click the bell icon so that if I have a new upload video, you will be notified as soon as. And also, don't forget to share to your friends, like, comment, and give a thumbs up. Thank you. So, let's go back to our topic. National Visa Center Time Frames Updates Current case file creation time as of August 29, 2022. We are working on cases that were received from USCIS on August 15, 2022. The current case review time, as of August 29, 2022, we are reviewing documents submitted to us on June 21, 2022. Current public inquiry form response time, as of August 29, 2022, we are responding to inquiries received on June 27, 2022. For the U.S. Embassy or Consulate's updates in the Philippines, current public inquiry form response time, all correspondence is processed in the order received. We will not respond to duplicate inquiries, so please refrain from sending multiple requests or follow-ups which slows down our responses. So according to the U.S. Embassy Philippines, guys, uh, for those applicants that you send an inquiry to the public inquiry form, according to them, uh, all the correspondence they are processed in order received. So it means that who is the first one they receive it, that is also they will reply in order. So according to them, uh, they will not reply on the multiple requests because it makes them to slow down or responsing. So it's better the guys that you need to wait at least wait for one week and then you can make a follow-ups if you never receive any response from the public inquiry form response time so for the visa operations updates the u.s embassy in the philippines is providing all rotten visa services though interview appointments for some visa classes remain limited in order to prioritize 
travelers with urgent need and certain critical categories of visas due to a high volume of applicants and consular staffing shortages wait times for mini visa classes are longer than the free pandemic norm for immigrant visa updates the embassy is processing immigrant visas across all categories however with significant backlogs in most categories wait times for interviews are lengthy for all but, but immediate relatives IR-1 through IR-5 as skilled workers E3 and fiancés K it is not possible to provide precise wait times as facilities, stopping resources, and local condition all affect capacity and scheduling. As of July 31, 2022, most IR visa cases being scheduled for interview were documentarily complete at the National Visa Center in June 2022. And most K visa cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in June 2022. Most current employment based cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in June 2022. And most current family preferences cases are approved expedite cases. For non immigrant visa update, the embassy prioritizes travelers with urgent, for example, for example, matter of life or death, travel needs, and certain critical categories of travelers such as students and exchange visitors, F-1, M-1, and J-1. And temporary employee, H-1B, H-2B, and L non-immigrants. We are processing renewals of business and tourism, B-1 and B-2, visas for applicants eligible to have their interview, WAVE Offering bi biometrics only appointments for applicants who received their last visa prior to age 14 and interviewing a limited number of B1 and B2 applicants each day. While we continue to expand our visa processing, please note that we have a significant backlog of cases so wait times are much longer than free pandemic time so guys it means that still they are working in a limited services only due of the large volume of visa applicants also shortages for staffing many visa applicants pay the visa application fee and are still waiting to schedule an interview appointment the validity of your payment, known as MRB fee, is extended until September 30, 2023. To allow all applicants who were unable to schedule an appointment the opportunity to do so. For appointment scheduling and expedited appointment quest, visit the link, okay? So I'm gonna put down below in my description box so that it's easily for you guys to direct it to their website for more information and details so guys that's it only the updates for the non-immigrant and immigrant visa and also for the visa operations in the u.s embassy philippines and also the reports of the national visa center for immigrant visa backlog reports so i hope i give you again some information and ideas what's happening for the updates of the national visa center and also for the u.s embassy in the philippines so guys if you have some any questions don't be hesitate to comment down below in my description box so that i can answer as soon as and also for those who never yet subscribed please do consider to subscribe click that bell icon so that if i have a new upload video she will be notified as soon as and also don't forget to share to your friends like comments and give a thumbs up so that's it for today i hope you learn again in this video for those applicants that still waiting for your interview appointments don't you worry guys i'm sure that you are the next one so just be patient in the u.s embassy philippines they are working but in a limited services only due of the high volume of visa applicants and the shortages of a staffing fact that the wait times it's much more longer than pre-pandemic norm so i guess that's it for today 
So stay safe and God bless you all. Take care and see you in my next vlog. Bye!